All right, you ready? 20 seconds on the clock, please. How much will a gallon of gas cost before it causes you to change your driving habits? Five dollars. Name a food kids fix for themselves. Mac and cheese. Tell me why you think a man is from Texas. A cowboy hat. Name something specific that people grind. Pass. Name something that is almost, name something in almost every house that's too small. Uh, TV. Name something specific that people, gr Okay, just listen, because I stumble, so we're gonna do it. Name something specific that people grind. Their teeth. Boom. Okay. How much will a gallon of gas cost before it causes you to change your driving habits? You said $5. Survey said. No. Yeah. Name a food kids fix for themselves. You said mac and cheese. Survey said. Tell me why you might think a man is from Texas. You said... Cowboy hat. Survey said... Yeah. Name something specific that people grind. You said... Teeth. Survey said... Yeah. Name something that in almost every house is too small. You said... TV. Survey said... <laughs> it's OK. Tyler, it's gonna be a little bit less pressure on you this time. She got 121, you need 79. Let's do it. All right, let's remind everybody Serena's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. How much will a gallon of gas cost before it causes you to change your driving habits? Uh, until you're empty? 325. Name a food kids fix for themselves. Cereal. Tell me why you might think a man is from Texas. Uh, his, the way he speaks. Name something specific that people grind. On a person. Name something that in, that in almost every house is too small. Uh, bedroom. <laughs> we need 79 points. How much will a gallon of gas cost before it causes you to, to change your driving habits? You said... 325. <laughs> Survey said... Five dollars was the number one answer. Name a food kids fix for themselves. You said cereal. Survey said yeah. cereal was the number one answer. Tell me why you think a man is from Texas. You said the way he speaks. I like that. Survey said yeah. Cowboy hat was the number one answer. <laughs> Name something specific that people grind. <laughs> Your little nasty behind. <laughs> Cupcake said <laughs> on a person. You just, who, what do you want him to say? <laughs> He's a cupcake. <laughs> Survey said. We need two points. <laughs> Come on. Number Come on. one answer was teeth. Name something that in almost every house is too small. You said? Bedroom. See two people. Two. Mm -hmm. Survey said? Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm talking 
about. You ready? Yes. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, man. Name someone you hope never says to you, you're not going to like this. My doctor. Name the age people start feeling old. 40. Name a word that rhymes with fiddle. Pass. Name a type of berry. Strawberry. Name something you'd hate to discover in your pantry. Rats. Give me a word that rhymes with fiddle. Sizzle. Yeah. 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 All right, let's go. Name someone you hope never says to you, you're not gonna like this. You said, your doctor survey said, yeah. 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 Come on, baby. Woo. Name the age people start feeling old. You said 40. Survey said. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Come on, baby. Come on. Give me a word that rhymes with fiddle. <laughs> you said, huh? Let, let me ask you again, because maybe you misunderstood me. <laughs> Give me a word that rhymes with fiddle. Riddle. Give me a word that rhymes with fiddle. You said riddle. Survey said yeah! Yeah, baby, yeah! Yeah! Name a type of berry. You said Come on, baby, number here. Come on. Strawberry. Survey said yeah! Make it easy for you, brother. That's it. That's what we hoping for. Yes. Whoa. Name something you'd hate to discover in your pantry. You said rats. Survey said. Yeah! Well, Danny, what relationship are you to Wayne? Older brother. How many points you think he got, Danny? I say he got more than a buck twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're right about that. Oh, buck eighty-five. A little higher than that. One ninety. A little higher than that. One ninety-five. One ninety-three. Oh! You need seven points. Oh, oh my I can do this. Danny, I want you to focus for me now. Pay close attention to me. Okay. It's gonna be a little bit tougher this time, so we'll give you 25 seconds. You ready? Ready. All right, let's remind everybody Wayne's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. Name someone you hope never says to you, you're not going to like this. The doctor. Uh -huh. Try again. Dentist. Uh -huh. Try again. Um, cop. Name the age people start feeling old. 50. Give me a word that rhymes with fiddle. Little. Name a type of berry. Blackberry. Name something you'd hate to discover in your pantry. Mold. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, Uncle. We, got we need seven. <laughs> Name someone you hope never says to you, you're not going to like this. You said, the cops. Somehow, that just fits you, Danny. <laughs> uh. Survey said? Uh. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. We're good. You got this. You got this. Dr. Dennis, number one answer. Name the age people start feeling old. You said, 50. Survey said. <laughs> 40. 40 was the number one answer. Middle. 
Mineral was the number one answer. Strawberry was the number one answer. Mice and rats was the number one answer. He had all number one except for that one, man. Wow. We'll see you next time. Are you ready? 20 seconds on the clock, please. Tell me, after how many days does a bouquet of flowers start to wilt? Three. Name a part of the body that's spelled with four letters. Nose. Fill in the blank. Go for what? The gold. Name something people do at a ball game. Eat peanuts. Name a fruit that's bigger than an orange. Cantaloupe. All right, let's go. Tell me after how many days does a bouquet of flowers start to wilt? You said three, survey says. <laughs> Name a part of the body that's spelled with four letters. You said no, survey said. Fill in the blank. Go for what? You said, go for the gold. Survey said. <laughs> Name something people do at a ball game. You said, eat peanuts. Survey said. <laughs> Name a fruit that's bigger than an orange. You said, cantaloupe. Survey said. All right, Jesse. She got 119. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. You need 81, Jesse. Okay. But listen to me, Jess. To win this 81, you got to focus, man, okay? Come on. You can win some money. Okay. That's what I want you to do. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right, let's remind everybody of Jenna's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. Tell me, after how many days does a bouquet of flowers start to wilt? Seven. Name a part of the body that's spelled with four letters. Nose. <laughs> Try again. Pass. Fill in the blank. Go for what? The gold. <laughs> Try again. First. Name something people do at a ball game. Play the sport. Name a fruit that's bigger than an orange. Grapefruit. Name a part of the body that's spelled with four hey. letters. <laughs> All right, let's go, Jess. After how many days does a bouquet of flowers start to wilt? You said seven. Survey said five. Five was the number one answer, 63 points away. Name a part of the body that's spelled with four letters. You said your head. Survey said feet or foot was number one. Fill in the blank. Go for blank. You said Go for first. Survey said? <laughs> it. Go for it was number one. We still need 45 points. Name something people do at a ball game. You said, <laughs> play the sport. Makes sense to me. Survey said? <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> eat. Eat was the number one answer. We need a big one. We're 45 points away. Name a fruit that's bigger than an orange. You said? <laughs> grapefruit. Survey said? <laughs> grapefruit was the number one answer. Wow. Wow. That's a two-day total. 20,705 bucks, and they're coming right back on Family Feud. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Welcome back to the Feud, everybody. The Ferrunia family yeah. won the game. And now it's time to play. Alia. Alia. Alia, I'm yes. trying to get it, baby. Just you got it. You're getting there. Alia. Mm -hmm. Mo is off stage. Got that right, though, didn't I? Yeah, Mo, sure did. Mo <laughs> is off stage. 
I'm gonna ask you five questions okay. in 20 seconds. Okay. If you can't think of something, you just say pass. Okay. You and Mo together come up with 200 points. Look right Correct. there. Tell them what you're gonna win. $20,000! Yeah. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yes. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Okay. Here we go. On a scale of one to 10, how well do you know your next door neighbor? Four. Name something women wear at nudist colonies. Shoes. Name a sport with a specific season. Football. Now that you're an adult, name a dessert you can have any darn time. Cheesecake. Fill in the blank. Sesame blank. Seeds. All right, let's go. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. On a scale of one to 10, how well do you know your next door neighbor? You said? Four. Four. <laughs> Survey says? Okay. okay. Name something women wear at nudist colonies. You said shoes. Survey said. <laughs> Name a sport with a specific season. You said football. Survey said. Yeah. Now that you're an adult, name a dessert you can have any darn time. You said cheesecake. Survey said. Fill in the blank, sesame blank. You said... Seeds. Seeds, survey said. Yeah. Right. Come on, Mo. Come on, Mo. Mo, how you feeling, man? Doing all right. All right, come on, man. Come gotta on, Cleveland. Gotta redeem myself. You got more? Come on, Cleveland. Now, I got good news for you. She got 113. Okay. That's right. Thank you. But you gotta get 87. All right, let's remind everybody of her answer. 25 seconds on the clock, please. On a scale of one to 10, how well do you know your next door neighbor? Seven. Name something women wear at nudist colonies. Bikinis. Name a sport with a specific season. Uh, football. Let's try again. It's hockey. Name, now that you're an adult, name a dessert you can have any darn time. <sighs> Cheesecake. Let's try again. Pie. Fill in the blank. Sesame blank. Street. <laughs> okay. You got it. You got it. All right, we need 87 points. On a scale of one to 10, how well do you know your next door neighbor? You said seven. Survey said. Okay. Ten. Ten was the number one answer. All right, name something women wear at nudist colonies. You said, same thing they wear at the beach. <laughs> Survey said, bikinis. Oh. That's okay. It's okay. Jewelry okay. and watch. Jewelry and watch was number one. 75 points away. Name a sport with a specific season. You said, hockey. Survey said, okay. football. Football was number one. We need two big ones. We 64 points away. Now that you're an adult, name a dessert you can have any darn time. Y'all must love cheesecake, man. Oh, yeah. Because she said cheesecake. Yeah. Wow. Thanks, Mom. Survey said, you said, pie. Survey said, Ooh, ice cream. Ice cream was number ice one. Cream. 56 points away. You need a oh, big one. Man. Fill in the blank. Sesame blank. You said street. Survey said. Yeah! Sesame Street was the number one answer. Wow. Wow. That's $20,000, and they're coming right back. See you next time. All right, you ready? Ready. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, man. You're on an airplane. The pilot says you're stuck on the runway for an hour. What do you reach for? The call bell. Name a reason why someone might start sweating. They're running outside. What hour of the day does Thanksgiving dinner start? 2 p.m. Which of the seven dwarfs' names best describes you? Lumpy. 
Name something you put on your hands. Lotion. All right, let's go. You're on an airplane. The pilot says you're stuck on the runway for an hour. What do you reach for? You said the car, but bing bong. How long you say we're gonna be out here? <laughs> All right, dog, appreciate that. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I need to know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody sick? Is a plane Keto, broken? What's going we, on? We out here, why? <laughs> I need some answers. <laughs> Survey said. Oh. Name a reason why someone might start sweating. You said running outside. Survey said. <laughs> what hour of the day does Thanksgiving dinner start? You said 2 p.m. That's that's our time. That's our time for Thanksgiving. And you know why? Because that gives you time to go back again. Right. You don't want to eat too late because we got to go back two, three times. That's it. Survey said. Which of the seven dwarfs names best describes you? You said... <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Survey said... <laughs> Name something you put on your hands. You said... <laughs> Lotion. Survey said... Yeah. All right. What relation are you to Keenan? He's my youngest brother. He's your little brother? Mm -hmm. Okay. He did all right. He, okay. uh... You happen to be my personal favorite from that team over there <laughs> because you know how to play this game. Now, you have picked your little brother up several times in this life. I'm a, this is one of those times. We need 141 points. Yes. But guess what, Nicole? You can do it. Okay. okay, this is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're gonna hear this sound. Uh -huh. I'm gonna say try again. You give me another answer. Gonna be a little bit tougher this time, so we'll give you 25 seconds. You ready? Ready. All right, let's remind everybody of Keenan's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. You're on an airplane. The pilot says you're stuck on the runway for an hour. What do you reach for? My phone. Name a reason why someone might start sweating. Uh, in an interview. What hour of the day does Thanksgiving dinner start? Two o'clock. Uh -huh. Again. One o'clock. Which of the seven dwarfs' names best describes you? Sleepy. Name something you put on your hands. Lotion. Uh -huh. Try again. Uh, gloves. <laughs> All right, come on, Nicole. You're on an airplane. The pilot says you're stuck on the runway for an hour. What do you reach for? You said... Your phone. Survey said... Yes. Phone was the number one answer. We need 100 points. Name a reason why someone might start sweating. You said... An interview. Survey said... Nervous and stress was the number one answer. What hour of the day does Thanksgiving dinner start? You said... 1 p.m. Survey said... 4 p.m. 4 p.m. We still need a bunch. Which of the seven dwarfs' names best describes you? You said... Sleepy. Survey said... Happy. Happy was the number one answer. We need 38 points. Name something you put on your hands. You said... Gloves. We need a big one. Survey says...
that doggone girl. Gloves and mittens was the number one answer. Well, they got two day total, 20,910 bucks, and they're coming right back on Family Feud. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time. Twenty seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. Fill in the blank. If I could eat all I want of one food without getting fat, I choose what? Ice cream. Fill in the blank. Blank dance. Break. How many credit cards does the average person have? Two. Tell me something you know about Elmo. His laugh. Tell me something that has horns. A unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you give an answer, as soon as you say it, you want it back. <laughs> a unicorn. Oh, God, no. Yeah, That's pretty. You're okay, doing okay, though. Okay. Come on, let's go. <laughs> all right, let's see what we did. Fill in the blank. If I could eat all I want, a one food without getting fat, I choose what? You said ice cream. That's my favorite dessert. Yay. Survey said. <laughs> Fill in the blank. Blank dance. You said break dance. Survey said. Yeah. How many credit cards does the average person have? You said two. Survey said. Yeah. Tell me something you know about Elmo. You said. His laugh, survey said. Yeah! <laughs> Tell me something that has horns with an S on it. <laughs> you said that double horned, <laughs> ever dangerous unicorn. Watch this, somebody gonna say it. I hope survey so. Survey said. Jenny did pretty good. She got you almost halfway there. She got 93. You need 107. It's about as even as you can get. All right, let's remind everybody of Jenny's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Fill in the blank. If I could eat all I want of one food without getting fat, I choose what? Candy. Fill in the blank. Blank dance. Strip. How many credit cards does the average person have? Five. Tell me something you know about Elmo. He's red. Tell me something that has horns. A bull. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, it's so good! Yes, it's so good! Yeah. We did so good. All right, we need 107. Let's see. Fill in the blank. If I could eat all I want of one food without getting fat, I'd choose what? You said... Candy survey said. Pizza. Pizza. We need 94. Fill in the blank. Blank dance. You said. Strip dance. All right, Steffi. Survey said. Break dance was number one. We need 94 points. How many credit cards does the average person have? You said five. Survey said three. Three was the number one answer. We're 78 points away. We need a couple of big ones. Let's go. Tell me something you know about Elmo. You said he's red. Survey said. Red was the number one answer. 41 points away from the money. Tell me something that has horns. You said bull. Survey said.
20 seconds on the clock, please. All right, here we go. How long could you go without complaining about something? One hour. Name a sport that does not contain the word ball. Soccer. Name a sad sounding musical instrument. Violin. Name a shellfish that served in a restaurant. Shrimp. Name a reason you might not leave your house all day. The, it's raining outside, the weather. All right, let's go. Come on, All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Let's go. How long could you go without complaining about something? You said one hour. Survey said. Name a sport that does not contain the word ball. You said soccer. Survey said. <laughs> Name a sad sounding musical instrument. You said violin. Survey said. Nice, nice job. Name a shellfish that served in the restaurant. You said shrimp. Survey said. Okay. Name a reason you might not leave your house all day. You said. It's raining, survey said. There you go. All right, Pasquale. All right, Danielle did her job. She got you a little bit better than halfway there. She got 106. So we need you. We need 94 to win. Okay, let's do it. All right, Pasquale. It's going to be a little bit tougher this time, so we're going to give you 25 seconds. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's remind everybody of Danielle's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. How long could you go without complaining about something? A day. Name a sport that does not contain the word ball. Soccer. Uh -huh. Try again. Tennis. Name a sad-sounding musical instrument. Bass. Name a shellfish that served in a restaurant. Scallops. Name a reason you might not leave your house all day. Sick. Yeah. All right, let's see. How long could you go without complaining about something? Danielle said one hour. <laughs> That's true. That's true. One That's about right. hour. That's about right. You said a day. Survey said. Number one answer was one day. Yes. Oh, wow. Name a sport that does not contain the word ball. You said tennis. Survey said yes. hockey. Hockey was the number one answer. Wow. We need 44 points. Name a sad sounding musical instrument. You said bass. Survey said Ooh. violin oh. was the number one answer. We're still 44 points away. Name a shellfish that served in a restaurant. You said scallops. Survey said what? lobster. Lobster was the number one answer. Man. We need 44 points. Come on. Come on, guys. We need a big one. Name a reason you might not leave your house all day. You said come on, come on, come on. sick. Survey said. Twenty seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. We asked 100 women, name a breed of dog that as sloppy a kisser as some guys you know. Bulldog. How many hours a day do you spend online? Five. Name something a farmer probably gets tired of doing. Farming. Name a public place where you see lovers quarreling. Uh, movies. Name a kind of uniform that can make even a nerdy guy look attractive. Fireman. All right, let's see. 
We ask 100 women, name a breed of dog that's as sloppy a kisser as some guys, you know. You said, that bulldog survey said... How many hours a day do you spend online? You said... Five. Survey said... Name something a farmer probably gets tired of doing. You said... We need you to be more specific, so listen to me closely. Okay. Name something a farmer probably gets tired of doing. Pulling vegetables. A pulling vegetables? Survey said... Okay. Oh. Name a public place where you see lovers quarreling. You said... Movie survey said... Okay. Name a kind of uniform that can make even a nerdy guy look attractive. You said... That fireman survey said... All right, we're right. Let's go. We got it, we got it. Okay, Ben, listen to me. Yes, sir. This is doable. Yes, sir. Erica got 68. That's good. You need 132. Okay. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's remind everybody of Erica's answer. 25 seconds on the clock, please. We asked 100 women, name a breed of dog that's as sloppy a kisser as some guys you know. St. Bernard. How many hours a day do you spend online? Four. Name something a farmer probably gets tired of doing. Um, driving a tractor. G name a public place where you see lovers quarreling. Um, the supermarket. Name a kind of uniform that can make even a nerdy guy look attractive. Uh, military. Yeah. Come, on, yeah. Come on, let's take a shot at it. Oh, we ask... You need 132. We gotta go big. Let's go. We ask 100 women, name a breed of dog that's a sloppy or kisser. And some guys, you know, you said... St. Bernard, survey said... Yeah! St. Bernard was the number one answer. How many hours a day do you spend online? You said... Four, survey said... Three. Three was the number one answer. Name something a farmer probably gets tired of doing. You said... Driving a tractor. Survey said... Yeah. Getting up early and plowing, tied uh, for the top. Early, early. 63 points away. Name a public place where you see lovers quarreling. You said... Supermarket. Survey said... Yeah. Park. The park, park yeah. was the number one answer. We need a big one. Name a kind of uniform that can make even a nerdy guy look attractive. You said... Military. Survey said... Ready? Yes. Come on, girl. 20 okay. seconds on the clock, please. We ask 100 married men, what does your wife stop doing when she's really mad at you? Stop giving up sex. Besides coffee, what might you have a big cup of in the morning? Pop. Name me the age when most kids learn their ABCs. Three. Name a part of the body a person rubs to get the circulation going. Your back. Name something that rocks. A rocking chair. Come on now. Yes. We ask a hundred married men, what does your wife stop doing when she really mad at you? You said the uh um mm, uh, mm. sex. I know. You said <laughs> I, I, I was getting to that, baby. <laughs> Survey said.
Lord, please, God. Please let them win this money. Besides coffee, what might you have a big cup of in the morning? You said, what? Pop. I'm, I'm, you ain't got to look at me like that. Survey said? Good answer. All right. Okay. Tell me the age when most kids learn the ABCs. You said? Three. Survey said? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I want you to. Name a part of the body a person rubs to get the circulation going. You, okay. <laughs> you said? Steve's back. Survey said? Name something that rocks. You said rocking chair. Survey said. <laughs> Devon. Yes. How many points do you think she got? No, my little sister, because I taught her so good. She probably got about. 100, 105, 110. Girl, mm-mm. <laughs> Girl, mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, she didn't. <laughs> no, she did not. She didn't get no 105, no 110. She know what this means. Okay. <laughs> she got more than that. <laughs> she got more than 120. You Uh-uh, you can't look at her. Girl! Your little sister got 134 Woo! points. Woo! Secure that bag! Secure that bag. Secure the bag! Now, listen bag. to me. Now, Devon, you got to get 66 points. Okay. Are you, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's remind everybody of Vanessa's answers. 25 Woo! seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. We asked 100 married men, what does your wife stop doing when she's really mad at you? Cooking. Besides coffee, what might you have a big cup of in the morning? Pop. Try again. Kool-Aid. Tell me the age when most kids learn their ABCs. Two. Name a part of the body a person rubs to get the circulation going. Feet. Name something that rocks. A rocking chair. Try again. Yo, head. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. We need 66 points. We ask 100 married men, what does your wife stop doing when she's really mad at you? You said, she stopped cooking. Survey said? Sex. Sex was number one. Besides coffee, what might you have a big cup of in the morning? You said... (laughs) 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 Survey said... Was the number one answer. Yes. 24 points away. Tell me the age when most kids learn their ABCs. You said two. Survey said three. Three years old was the number one answer. We are 11 points away from $20,000. Name a part of the body a person rubs to get the circulation going. You said feet. Survey said. Yes, sir.
20 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, Mike. We asked 100 men, how long would you have to be lost before you ask for directions? A day. Name a place everyone loves to go. Disney World. Name something you like to have on you at all times. A gun. Name something a weatherman might lose in a hurricane. It's too pay. Name something parents need a lot of. Money. Steve. All right, let's see. We asked 100 men, how long would you have to be lost before you asked for direction? <laughs> you said <laughs> a whole day. That's me, baby. Survey said. <laughs> Name a place everyone loves to go. You said <laughs> Disney World. Survey said. <laughs> Name something you like to have on you at all times. You said <laughs> a gun. Man, survey said. <laughs> oh, Steve. Name something a weatherman might lose in a hurricane. You said his toupee. Survey said. Oh, wow. <laughs> Name something parents need a lot of. You said money. Survey said. All right. Come on, Kyle. Let's go. All right, Kyle, we need some points. Now, Mike got 60. Oh, man. You need 140. <laughs> you can do it, though. It's gonna be a little bit tougher this time, so we'll give you 25 seconds. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's remind everybody Mike's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. We asked 100 men, how long would you have to be lost before you ask for directions? An hour. Name a place everyone loves to go. Chuck E. Cheese. Name something you like to have on you at all times. Money. Name something a weatherman might lose in a hurricane. Nah, uh, his umbrella. Name something parents need a lot of. Patience. Yeah. yeah. Get your oh, oh, That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Kyle. Woo! Let's see it, baby. Was that good? Was good? You got it, baby. Yeah, we asked 100 men, how long would you have to be lost before you asked for directions? You said, one hour. Survey said, Yes! One hour was the number Dude. one answer. Come on, Kyle. Name a place everyone loves to go. You said to Chuck, Chuck E. Cheese. Cheese. I'm, I'm, I'm a dad, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I've been there before. <laughs> I couldn't wait to get out. <laughs> Survey said. There we yeah. go. Wow. Boom. The yeah. beach. The, the beach. beach was number one. That's all right. We go. need 93. Let's go, baby. Name Come something on, you guys. like to have on you yeah. at all times. You said. Money. Come on, yeah. 50, 50. Some money. Come on, Survey man. said. Yeah! There you go. Boom! Come on, baby. Money and wallet was the number one answer. Woo! We're 54 away Come from on, the money. Come on, Name something a weatherman might lose in a hurricane. You said. <laughs> an umbrella. Come a on, survey baby. said. One answer. We need 13 <laughs> for 20,000. Name something parents need a lot of. Oh, it's it. And you said it's it. And they need patience. Come on. A survey says. <laughs> Coming back for a chance to drive out of here in a brand new car. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time. Your ass on YouTube. <laughs> Your whole damn family on YouTube. <laughs> Your whole damn family gonna be on YouTube. This about to be on YouTube. I'm gonna end up oh on YouTube. Oh my dear gracious. <laughs>